Hey, I'm Yo-Yo, and I've always loved art. With my job as an event producer, I get to work with some of the world's most famous galleries and museums. As someone who really wanted to be part of that world but never studied art beyond GCSEs, I wanted to know what kind of job I could get working at a gallery. I'm at Tate Britain to chat to people who bring some of the world's most exciting art to the public. I want to learn more about the roles we don't often hear, find out what those people do every day and how they got their jobs. Feeling creative and inspired by the art, what a better place to start than the design team? We are in the design studio. Can you maybe tell me a little bit more about what the design team do here at Tate? As a digital designer, we're kind of working on like lots of different things. So uh, designing like web banners and stuff like that, that kind of go with the campaigns. And then like, I suppose the bigger like digital stuff would be um, doing like exhibition trailers. Joining the Tate team, how did you get this specific role? I was an intern here last year. And also like when I wasn't doing an internship or working, I was like doing my own thing. So like always having creative projects on the side. So when I did come to applying for like jobs, I think it's good to like have your own stuff to show and maybe that will give you an edge. I think if you can do like any internship, like whether it's part-time, full-time, one day a week, like you, you should, like any experience is good. I'm off to meet Rudy from Tate's marketing team to hear about his interesting journey. So what is a marketing campaign? A marketing campaign is how you get the show to people, how you get people to see it. Basically how you make it look amazing or make it look as amazing as it is. Traditionally, like marketing was print mm -hmm. and like posters and stuff like that and being in magazines and stuff. But obviously with like social media and things like that, it's really evolved to, to trailers, to loads of digital content. Um, and I guess we kind of help and work with different teams to try and pull those things together, which I think is like one of the most interesting parts of the job, like working with different people. Immediately I'm just like, okay, knowledge, you need to have so much knowledge of art, art history. Would you say that having an art background is really important to what you do? Do you have an art background actually? Probably a better question. No, I mean, both those questions, no. <laughs> okay. um, like, I like art, like mm. I have always liked art, but I don't, my knowledge isn't like extensive or anything. I did English literature. And then like, and then like, yeah, I like, yeah, like I love books. And then I got into like throwing parties around London and, and, and then through that got into marketing. How do you connect that to your marketing work? How did it land you in a position here? From like working with artists and stuff like that and working with like just project plans and putting things together and working with deadlines, it works well with marketing. It's kind of like a natural transition from that to like kind of branding and marketing side of stuff. It's great to hear how Rudy's personal projects helped him gain experience in marketing. More and more, you see people's side hustles become their full-time jobs. I wanted to chat to someone who uses their day job to influence their creative projects outside of work. Hey. <laughs> so when I think digital, I think so many things, but it's probably best to come from you. So what does the digital team at Tate do? I'm an assistant producer. Um, in the digital content team, so we make content for the website and that includes like articles, podcasts or videos and stuff like that. Yeah. What kind of was your journey into working at the tape? When I was back in Iran, I studied film for, for a couple of years. Then I moved to London and I studied TV production. I got a job in a restaurant. And then one day I got really sick of the restaurant I was working in. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna see if there is any job in the cafes in Tate. So I went on a website and I saw my job being advertised and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'm just gonna apply for this. And then I ended up getting it. But you then, never know. <laughs> you never know what things kind of coincide yeah. with your work. Thinking about um, your experience and maybe possible advice that you can give someone who wanted to film or maybe specifically assistant producing. I feel like in my job one of the most important things is sort of relationship management and like people skills because I work with a very wide range of people. So I think for me personally that's the most important skill that I gained doing this job and I, I kind of think that's one of the most important skills in any job you want to do. I meet a lot of people who have always known they wanted to work in the creative industries, but that's not always the case. I caught up with Michael to find out how he discovered his love of art. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so, um, I'm really curious, okay, so what is your job role? 
So my job role is uh, assistant curator for Late Estate Britain. Day to day, uh, you know, it's meeting artists, uh, either, you know, that might be running workshops or it might be exhibiting Tate artists. But then essentially one of the main parts of my day is opening up these meetings and institutional process to the Tate Collective producers. Uh, Tate's group of 15 to 25 year olds. It's basically giving them the autonomy to, to program events themselves. What was your journey into working here and kind of feeling welcome in this space? When I was young, I never wanted to study art. I didn't really have like a strong interest in art. Um, but then when I was 15 or a bit younger, I was involved in a head-on car accident, yeah. which took me out of school. But art was the one thing that I could do, in my, do at home. And then I went back into school for sixth form. That's where I started to really focus on art a lot more. And then from there on, I went, went on to uni to study fine art. So thinking about all the think tips that you've learned, what is one piece of advice you'll give to someone trying to get into a museum or a gallery? For me, it's networking a sense of the people you've got around you. And because you never know where someone's going to end up, it's just being aware of those networks and valuing them just as much as anything else and always asking for advice when you feel you need it. It's been great hearing about some of the different roles that exist at Tate. From our chats, it's clear there's not one set route into working at a gallery. There can be different experiences, interests and expertise which people bring to their roles that don't have to be purely art history.